<sighs> Finally, the world's best invention. The air conditioner. Goodness, it's scorching hot outside. Yeah, and look, it made me sweat all over my favourite black shirt. I just realised that we are both being rather silly. I'm wearing a blazer and you are wearing black in this crazy warm weather. Huh? <laughs> I can understand how wearing more clothes will make you feel warmer, but what's wrong with my black t-shirt? Why should my black t-shirt make me feel warmer? Um, well, to understand why black would make you feel warmer, we need to understand the third method of heat transfer, radiation. Have you heard of the term radiation before? Yes, radiation is bad and will kill all of us, like nuclear bombs and stuff. Well, not exactly. Some types of radiation are indeed bad and could kill us. But without some other types of radiation, we would also not survive here on Earth. Really? What type of radiation do we need to survive on Earth? Well, infrared radiation from the sun is one example. Infrared? You mean radiation that is extremely red? I've heard of this term before, but I don't know what it means. Well, infrared radiation is considered part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Huh? What spectrum? The electromagnetic spectrum. Don't allow an unfamiliar term to frighten you. It's really simple and something you are already very familiar with. Let me give you a hint. It has no mass and can create shadows. Light! Yes, well done. Visible light is a part of the electromagnetic spectrum. But how is light and infrared radiation related? Well, light and infrared radiation are just different parts of the electromagnetic spectrum. This spectrum covers everything from the X-rays you use to image your skeletons to radio waves you use to listen to the radio in your car. Wow, that's a wide range. That's why it's called the electromagnetic spectrum. Similar to light, infrared Radiation is also part of the electromagnetic spectrum. All electromagnetic waves can transfer energy, but when it comes to heat energy transfer, the most common kind of radiation we experience in our everyday lives is infrared radiation. Ah, that makes sense. That is how the sun transmits its heat to the earth. Am I right? I mean, since space is a vacuum, you can't transfer heat by conduction or convection. Indeed, the sun transfers heat to the earth by radiation. And since most of the space between the sun and earth is vacuum, there is no way heat can be transferred by conduction or convection. From this, we know that infrared radiation does not require a medium for heat transfer to take place. I see. Which is why I still feel the heat from the sun even though it's so far away. Right. But why do you feel so hot also has to do with what you wear. Depending on the colour and texture of its surface, an object can absorb or emit radiation at different rates. Basically, the darker the colour, the more heat it absorbs via radiation. So the lighter the colour, the less heat it absorbs via infrared radiation? Yes. And let's try a short quiz now. 